What's up, everyone? Welcome to my trophy guide for the Not Fooled Trophy. This trophy involves killing the Fool's Idol boss without hitting any of the clones that she summons. Um, so a little bit about this fight. Uh, you kind of get some free hits on her to start. And then once she disappears for the first time, she will start summoning her clones. So if you hit any of the clones, it will invalidate this trophy. So the only the way that you get this trophy is by hitting the boss, the true form of the boss, and only that uh, true form of the boss uh, throughout the entire fight. And I'm assuming that you have already killed the uh, summoner guy up here because if you do not kill him, uh, you cannot win this fight. So. Um, this, this trophy guide is meant to be somewhat of a supplement to my 100% guide in which I show exactly how to get up there and kill the summoner. And um, also I show, I guess, a more traditional way of fighting this boss as well. So um, if you're looking for anything uh, about this game, um, check out that 100% guide because I cover everything very thoroughly uh, in that guide. So um, anyway, I'll just run through my equipment real quick. I'm using the um, crushing battle axe. I've got my lava bow, adjudicator shield. Um, I do have the Ring of Magical Dullness equipped because basically all of the attacks of this boss are magic based. Um, so it is good to have that equipped uh, so it will increase your magic defense. Also, I have some Pine Resin. I'm just going to use that as a buff to my weapon. Uh, hopefully do a little bit more damage with that. So um, all that being said, let's go ahead and uh, well, actually before we go in, I'm actually going to equip Second Chance just for safety. Um, and that's just, you know, a help for me. Obviously, you do not need second chance to, to win this fight, but um, I do like to have it equipped uh, just in case. So let's go in and do this. Uh, first things first, um, I'm just going to skip the cutscene here. Uh, you're going to want to take care of these guys because they just get in the way. Um, and it's, you know, might as well get them out of the way. So, you know, if you need to dodge or do anything, um, get away from the other clones that we're going to be, be seeing in just a bit here. Good to, good to have just, you know, free range of movement. Uh, these guys only only get in the way. So might as well go ahead and take them out. Most of them are standing still, so they're actually quite easy to hit. That one was far enough away. I wasn't even, I was not able to get him in one hit. Um, there we go. And then this guy. And that does it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw on my pine resin and I'm going to two hand my weapon here just to do a little bit of extra damage. So this first this first uh, encounter, you get pretty much free hits on the boss. Um, and then eventually she's gonna, she's gonna disappear, but I uh, did about half of her health, which is pretty good. So the key here is all of these clones that she summons can do magic damage to you. Um, and they, the, the magic attacks are pretty powerful. So how you can tell which is which is, uh, well, she didn't summon any clones here. That's, that's odd. Normally she uh, summons her clones right away, but, um, so it's just her, which is good because now we have a second round of being able to get free hits in. And I'm not going to kill her now because I want, I want to show you how to deal with her clones because that is, it is very important, uh, that is a very important key to this fight. So um, you can see, you know, unless you're hiding behind this pillar in the back, you're kind of vulnerable. Um, so I'm pretty sure this is the real one because um, the other ones, you see how she, the, the real one fires a larger arrow than the other ones. The other one's arrows are a bit smaller. So the real version of the boss always fires the larger arrow. Uh, the, the larger magic arrow. And you can see when I lock on to her, there's no health bar. Um, just as a demonstration, if you lock onto one of the clones, there's gonna be a health bar. So if, you're, if you see uh, the health bar, you do not want to attack that because that is a clone. And again, it will invalidate the trophy. So you see here, I'm locking on, no health bar. And you can also see she's firing the larger attack. It's the larger magic arrow. So I'm gonna go ahead and attack her and she's dead and the trophy should pop. We just got the Fool's Idol trophy. 
And we got the not fooled trophy because we did not attack any of the clones. That is how you get the the not fooled trophy. So thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. Uh, check out my other videos um, if you want to learn how to get some of the other trophies in this game. And also check out my 100% guide if you want a full walkthrough end to end of this game. So thanks again for watching. Hope you have a great day and I will see you next time.